Okay, uh, I'm at our website page right now to show you what we have so far. We have basically a, an opening page, a website title, and this other page that shows code documentation for our functions. What we're going to do, uh, this will hopefully be the final tutorial of this series, is we're just going to add a little bit of a description here, and then I'll show you how you can host this on GitHub. Um, once again, here's our GitHub repository, uh, and we'll, we'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to open back PyCharm back up. I'm going to go to my index.rst. This is our main page. And right here, I'm going to uh, just add a description. Uh, this is a description of this website. This is just an example website. For a tutorial. Okay, so uh, that's simple enough. Um, what if I wanted to add, whoops, another page here? Maybe you want to call this the summary. Um, I'd have to add another file into my program here. And I'm just going to pause this. I've lost my navigator, but I'm going to pause it, get the navigator window back, uh, and I'll resume. Okay, uh, we're back. And what you can do if that happens is go to Window, uh, Active Tool Windows, and then you can, there'll be an option to restore the, the tool window over there. Um, but what I'm going to do here is, oh, I didn't want to click on that. We're going to go Sphinx, and we're going to go uh, New File. And we'll do summary.rst. And that gives us a new file. We're not going to add the version control yet. We'll do it from the command line. And I'll do summary, the equal signs. And then I'll give you an idea. We can do like section one. And then if we just do dashes, um, then we can do section 1.1. And we can do like tildes there. That'll make it a third level heading. Um, we can do, you know, summary of project, stuff in section, stuff in subsection. Uh, this is just to give you an example of how you can do a little RST editing. Let's come uh, back to our command line where we're running Sphinx. And let's do make clean. And this will take a second here to, to do the cleaning. And still cleaning. And then we'll do uh, make HTML. We'll build that website up again. We can just take a look and make sure there aren't any errors there. And once uh, we're convinced of that, we can commit and push the code up to our repository. Still going here. Okay, let's uh, check our HTML. And you can see now we have this. Uh, code HTML and summary HTML that were created also. Let's go to our index. Uh, and you can see we have context, summary, section one, code documentation. So we go to summary, section one, section 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, you can see we have all that there. We have our kind of lame description and we still have our code documentation. So everything uh, set up well there. Now, Let's push those files up to GitHub, and I'll show you how you can host this website on GitHub uh, for the last part of this. So git status, uh, we have those files. We just added one file. So let's go git add all the files, git commit all message, um, adding website content, and we'll git push. 
origin master. Your name and password. Okay, and that's up there. So let's show what we want to do here. So our website right now is hosted in this HTML folder. So we have, we're under Sphinx build HTML. We want to copy all of this into the docs folder. And I'll show you why uh, once we do it. So we have docs right here. We want to copy everything in there into the docs folder. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go CP. Uh, the dash A just means to archive to preserve the file structure. And right now I'm in Sphinx Python doc example. So I'm going to go oop, Sphinx build HTML. And the dot means get all the files. And I want to copy it to docs. Okay. So let's hit that. Uh, we can come down here. We can check our docs folder. And we have now all those files in there. Now remember we're not uh, tracking those files in the Sphinx build HTML. Oh, one. We're not tracking these files uh, in our repository. We want to track them in our docs. So what we'll do now is if we do get status, you'll see we have the docs folder that has not been added. So let's do get add. Do get commit. And then we'll add website files to be hosted. Okay. Let's go git push origin master. Oh, username, password. Okay, getting up there. Okay, we're all pushed up. Let's refresh our repository on GitHub. GitHub. Now you can see we have this docs folder. Now, let me show you how you can use this to build the website. So, let's go to our settings. Wikis, data services, merge, GitHub pages. So, currently GitHub pages is disabled for this repository. But if we select our source, and we select the master branch docs folder, and we click save, and we scroll back down, Says it says your site is ready to be published at, at this URL. Now this might take a few minutes to happen, so I'm going to go show you something else in the repository first, and then we'll come back to this. Okay, so if we go back to the code, now remember how we added this uh, .no Jekyll file? Let's take a look at that. You can see there's there's nothing in there; it's just an empty file. Uh, it just tells uh, GitHub that we're not using a Jekyll website, which is what GitHub's default is. Uh, and so by adding that, no Jekyll doesn't try, try and host a Jekyll website. It just hosts these files as they are. And by putting this index.html uh, in the docs folder, it allows us to host that website. So I'm gonna go back over to settings. We'll see if this website's up yet. And it looks like it is. And so there you have it. We have the Sphinx documentation website hosted on GitHub. And just to, to show you this, we'll copy this link, uh, close the tab, open the link, control V, enter. And you can see that our we're host we have our documentation hosted in the same repository as our code on GitHub. Uh, and that's how you can do it. I will uh, one thing you'll need to remember is every time you come over here and make clean and build and make HTML, you will need to come back and copy those files that uh, are in the Sphinx build HTML folder. You'll need to copy those over uh, into the docs folder. Otherwise your website will be updated on GitHub. Uh, this way we have all our code, the RST, restructured text and our 
configuration pie and our make files, they're all backed up on GitHub. And so we can always regenerate that website whenever we need to and just copy those folder, those files back into the docs folder. Uh, so there's how you can do it. Hopefully that, that you found that useful for you. Uh, I apologize for the previous video that, that was a little bit crazy and I lost my way a little bit, um, but hopefully this is overall useful for you. And I'm sorry if I don't reply to your comments very well. I do have uh, a full-time job and this is this is more of a hobby than anything. Uh, I respond to him when I can, but I'm not I'm not always the greatest, and so I apologize for that. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate appreciate your support.